Hello and welcome to another tips and tricks video. Right, so in this video, what I'm gonna be talking about and showing you hopefully is how to improve ground textures. The reason I'm doing this video is in the first video that I did, so my first tips and tricks video, I got a comment from Jake Gibson and he basically put that uh, he wanted to know if it was easy to swap out the plow texture on this map, which is Bessie Beneath, for the one on Challenton by Oxygen David. Uh, the reason is he was he obviously prefers that. He said it's got you know it's it's higher detail. Um, I think it is actually a H HD texture as well. Um, so he wanted to know is it possible to do. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, what we'll do is we'll just have a quick look at this texture, so you can see what he wants to swap out. And what I'll do now is I'll quickly just jump over to Challenton and show you that texture. Right, so I'm in Challenton and you can now see the texture that um, we're going to swap over. Um, as you can tell, it is more detailed. It's like a HD te texture and it does look good. So what you need to understand as well, the way I'm going to show you is going to change the soil texture, the, the plow texture for most maps that don't use their own custom texture for soil. So for example, if you've got another map, just like Challenton, that has its own, own custom texture, um, like its own plow custom texture, that'll still say um, the way it's supposed to be for that map, because it's obviously in that map that uh, this custom texture is, like Challenton. But if you've got another map like Bessie Beneath, that basically draws its ground texture, this plow texture from the vanilla files in Farming Simulator, then from every map going forward, you'll have this texture. Um, from Challenton. So what I'll do is I'll jump out, go to the desktop, and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is obviously get Challenton Valley the map. If you've already got it in your mod folder, then what you need to do is just basically copy it, put it to your desktop, put it somewhere else. I'm going to be doing it in the downloads folder just because I'm going to re-download this um, and it's going to go straight in there. So I'll quickly just download this and then I'll show you what to do. Right, so this is my downloads folder, Challenge and Valley, the mod and the map has obviously gone into here. So the first thing we're going to need to do is extract it into a folder. So I'm using WinRAR. In the last episode that I did on my tips and tricks video, I told you you could use 7-zip or you can obviously use WinRAR. I'm using WinRAR, so uh, we're going to do it that way. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is extract it into a folder. Right, so now we've got the folder. All that's done. You're going to double click it. You're going to open it up. We're going to go into the textures. When we're in textures, we're going to go into terrain. And then when we're in terrain, we're looking for two types of files. We're looking for one called ground diffuse DDS and ground normal DDS. Now, if you want these DDS are basically the extension file. If you need to, if you haven't got that showing, it's because basically you need to go into view and then tick like I just did file name extensions. And what it'll do is it'll just show you the file type. It just makes it easier if you're obviously trying to open it with uh, some software that you um, haven't got to, to open the right type of file. Uh, these aren't an, an issue. You're not really going to be opening them. I'm using a software called GIMP. Um, you don't really need to use that for what we're doing. Right, so I've just opened up down, Downloads folder again. So now I've got two folders going on here. Uh, it's just so I can put them somewhere where we can obviously store them. It just makes it a little bit easier. Um, so we're going to copy this one and we're going to copy that one. And we're just going to quickly paste them into here. So they're the two file types that we need. Ground normal DDS, ground diffuse DDS. Right, then as soon as we've done that, what we need to do is we need to open up your farming simulator data folder. So that basically means where the game's installed. Now for me, it's in Steam. Um, I've got my own custom uh, SSD for games um, that I've put it in there. Your standard probably place if it's in Steam is going to be program files. If you've not downloaded it through Steam, it's probably still going to be in program files. I'll quickly just jump in my folder and then I can show you exactly the path that I'm taking it from. But you basically need to find uh, where your game is installed. Right, so this is where mine's installed. It's on my PC and then in my one terabyte SSD. Um, Steam library, Steam apps, common and farming simulator 19. So when you're in there, you pretty much need to go into data. Then we need to go into maps. Then we need to go into textures. Then we need to go into terrain. And then in terrain, we'll have a folder called ground. We need to open up ground. 
So remember, this is all in where Farming Simulator 19 is installed on your system. Like I said, if you're using Steam, it'll be different, but it should be like program files. Um, if not, then it should be the exact same as me, but you might have like your C drive or something else instead of this one terabyte that I've got just for games. Right, so as soon as we're in here, we're obviously going to swap out these two for these two. Now, what I do recommend is you make a backup of these just in case you don't like these in the end, you want to swap back. So make sure you do copy these, save them somewhere that you know where they are and just keep them as a backup just in case you want to go in and swap them back over. But what we need to do is just copy and paste into here and we're going to replace these two files. And that's it. All done. So what I'll do now is I'll jump back in game and I'll show you what the difference is. Okay, so I'm back in Bessie Beneath. Um, it's actually a really nice map. Um, and if we quickly just go over to field nine, which is where I had uh, the plow field, you can now see that the textures are exactly what like they were in uh, Challenton Valley. And that's it, it's that simple. So every map now that you start up a new game on uh, that doesn't have its own custom soil textures like this for plowing, um, this is what the texture will now look like. And I do have to say, in my opinion, it does look better. Right, so if this video has helped you out, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also keep a lookout for more tips and tricks videos on Farmer Simulator. See ya.